Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to my next show, Introducing On. It's a pleasure to get this gentleman on my show now. We've got John Fischel joining me on my show. How are we doing today? Doing great, sir. How are you? Yeah, great. I'm good, sir. Thanks. Nice to hear from you. Where are we calling from in the world at the moment? I am right outside of Washington, D.C. Actually, I'm getting ready to fly to the U.K. Uh, tomorrow. That is a that's Boston, as we say, which means amazing in England. <laughs> Fantastic. And I know you are busy uh, promoting um, your new single at the moment. It's called uh, Carolina, California. Is that right? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, and a new one just came out. Oh, so. wow. So we're going to go on to that shortly. But uh, you're a man sure. of, I hear you're a man of many talents. Uh, you're, uh, you're a singer, guitarist, songwriter, performer, producer, engineer, uh, an educator, <laughs> and um, and a professor as well. Um, I, I know how hard you've worked for this as well. So do you feel that like now is your time to shine? Yeah, uh, I, I've dropped a couple of things off. I, I, I am no longer professoring uh, at the at the moment, mm. but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also a dad. Uh, you know, I have a twin boy and girl who are three, and a little baby who's one. Uh, so all those things together, they they make for busy days for sure. That's what life's about: keeping busy. <laughs> I enjoy it though. That's I enjoy good. It. That's the main thing. And I understand um, you play instruments as well. Um, were you self-taught growing up? Uh, I I did have uh, piano lessons as as a as a kid, which I as a like a big jerk I quit. Uh, it was one of the worst regrets I, I I have in my my life. But but I did teach myself guitar, uh, and and honestly, I I think I approach it as a piano player might you know. great and uh, as a former teacher uh, professor um how important is it for uh, kids these days to be surrounded like music tuition you know I, I can't think of something more important i mean i i've always been been involved with it i mean honestly music and athletics i i think are to me number one number two um, you know, we do get old and, and, and our knees give out in terms of being athletes, but I think both things help us live long and happy lives. I, I grew up in music, uh, I played piano and um, gone to DJ and used to swim as well. And it's done me the world of good. So I can agree with you on, on those two factors. Yeah. I, I have mad respect for swimmers. I, I, you know, I, I don't know how you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and what what was like? What was life like growing up in Washington uh, D.C.? Oh, it was fantastic. I, I, I and I'm still here now. And um, you know, everything from getting to you know, my mom used to take me to protest rallies uh, that we had. Uh, most everything comes through here from an arts mm. uh, perspective. And in in some ways, it you know it's one of the you know political centers of the world, and it, you know it, it's it's fun to be around. You, you always have your finger on on kind of what's going on. It, it, it's been nice. And has your music career like took took you all over your country? Like, have you been to all the states? Uh, I've not been to all the states, but I've I've been to most of them, and I, yeah, I've been all over the country and. You know, it's so large. Uh, it's sort of like different countries within a country. Mm, sure. You know? And uh, I know uh, one song you wrote about, so California, is that uh, one of the uh, states which is close to your heart? Uh, no, I, I kind of hate California uh, uh, for, for a number of reasons. Sorry, California. Um, it, uh, Calif uh, the Los Angeles chewed me up and spit me out uh, very as a, as a young guy. Um, it, it's probably nothing wrong with California; it's just some some bad luck. Uh, and and yeah, I, I I thought the idea of a relationship where one person wants to be on one side and the other person wants to be on the other side made for a nice song. Do you find? Uh Los Angeles, um, very kind of pretentious in a way. Look, we're all pretentious in all of our ways in, in this country. There's no place you can go where we're not pretentious. Uh, Los Angeles is expensive. Uh, at the time when, when I was there, um, you know, it, it was insurvivable in terms of the expense. Uh, and, and, you know, I was around 
a lot of uh, seedy people, and and it just has to do with with what I was doing. I was trying to work uh, in recording studios, and and at the time, um, they were failing, and and you know that that has turned around. I've been to Los Angeles many times. Weather's great. The people are rich and beautiful, and good luck. And uh, this song, uh, Carolina, Carolina, California. Um, what's the song entail? What's it about? Oh, sure. It, it's 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 about a couple of things, but but re- really the the crux of it is um, d- d- one of those relationship songs, and you're you're defining the relationship by you know the the girl wants to be in California and the guy is uh, wants to be in North Carolina. And, and that's just kind of a, a view of where their relationship is going. Uh, they're, they're split, they're, they're in trouble and, and they're sad about it. It's a happy song, but sort of a sad subject. Is it based on a true story, personal experience, or can someone just relate to it? I guess it's happening to a couple out there somewhere. You know, I, I like to, to make up little stories and, and even, you know, television sitcoms in my mind when I'm, when I'm writing things. Uh, And and I think that was one of those sort of invented uh, deals. I I do have some other more personal uh, songs usually about breakups. <laughs> uh, but, but I think, I think this one was more about, you know, uh, long distance relationships and how that doesn't work. Yeah, sure. Uh, I listened to the track for the first time. It instantly struck a chord with me. Sometimes when you hear a song, it just, uh, you just like it, don't you instantly? Well, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, I made a note of it as well. Um, on, on the harmonies, I hear a little bit of Beach Boys maybe in the background. They were from California, weren't they? Absolutely. I, I, Beach Boys are, are certainly uh, a, a artist group that, that I, I've paid a lot of attention to. And um, your voice is very similar to, you know, the 2000s sound, you know, Chad Kruger from Nickelback. <laughs> that's true. That, that's true. Yeah, I hope it sort of modernizes my the music a little bit, you know, because I, I definitely spent a lot of time listening to music of the 60s and 70s mm-hmm. and 80s. Mm. And I meant that in, a, in, a, in an original way. Oh, good, good. Um, and this song is a bit of a fan's favorite as well. Um, yeah, honestly, uh, yeah, it's 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 doing pretty well. Um, in the UK, I, I have another one called Vampire that that for some reason, you know, it's got a lot of, um, you know, Spotify is telling me a lot of folks in the UK have have clicked on it. You know, so so that would be that would be another one. But certainly over here, yeah. That's good. And um, Calif- Carolina, Carolina, California. You made a music video for that. Was that good fun? You know, the, funny. I, I that music. If you watch that video, um, keep in mind that it cost me zero dollars and zero cents to make that that thing. And like the beach scenes where I'm on there was actually a, a volleyball court like down the road with some sand in it. I was trying to shoot it, so it looked like I was at the beach. Um, yeah, uh, I, I really enjoyed making that video and, you know, just finding creative r- ways to get around my complete lack of budget. Cool. And you mentioned on the onset of this interview, you are shortly coming over across the pond to do a tour across the UK, which is fantastic. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I'm so excited about that and really excited about uh, meeting as many people as I can. Uh, but yeah, I leave tomorrow. Oh, wow. Uh, we have, uh, you know, rehearsals and things uh, set up. I'm going to run up to Scotland just so I could see it. Yeah. And and then yeah, we're 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 full bore. Just checking on some on on the the cities you're visiting. You're hitting some of the big cities as well. So this is uh, is this your first time in the UK as well, touring, or have you visited before? I I dipped my toe in the water back in September uh, 2023. I was uh, opening for a wonderful band called Rosie and uh, Holly Henderson. And, um, it, 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 you know, I just wanted to just see how things went uh, for me, you know, driving on the right side of the road, uh, the correct side of the road, uh, we, we should say. Uh, and and it, it went really well. I, I, I really enjoyed it. And, you know, from there, I decided to set up this big tour with the full band. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm just so looking forward to, to the whole thing Amazing. we're bringing a documentary team 
over there so that it should be like reverse spinal tap brilliant it's not it's uh, nice to see behind the scenes on the road as well like in documentaries i find that fascinating you know yeah i i mean i hope it turns well you never know with those things we could be really boring and 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 not yeah. you know have enough for for a show but uh i, I think uh with the characters involved it's it's, it's going to be a good time at least and um john i wanted to say uh, there's no denying the experience you have what advice can you give to would-be musicians uh, starting off in any field I, I would say first of all when you're looking at old people don't do what they are doing because the, everything's changed mm -hmm. now like you know that's the first thing Second thing is, I mean, I know everyone hears this, but just if you got to be your authentic self, because listeners know they they really know if if you're putting on you know fakeness or 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 anything. If your if your music is a direct channel to to yourself, um, that's the best thing you can do for the music, and then. You know, don't worry about the rest of it. I wanted to ask as well. Uh, back in the day, um, in Britain, we, we 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 it was a time of like reality TV and talent contests, and we kind of exported it over to you to 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 your side. You know, American Idol and X Factor. What are your opinions on on programs like that? Um, do you feel that one can make their own path? You know, their own kind of career without having to be fast tracked. Uh, I mean. Look, it's a TV show, first of all, you know, and a great one, a great idea. I love watching those shows. I especially love to, uh, if you go to YouTube, you can watch uh, not so much bloopers, but you can watch uh, auditions of folks who are very odd and 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 folks who like get really angry at at the jo I love watching those too. Look, it, I mean, if you can sing in those ways, what why not do that? But also understand it is what 10,000 people auditioning at any given location on those things and they're making a TV show, right? So the the idea is the TV show and the music is obviously part of it, but TV show, right? I, I think if everybody keeps that in mind and keeps that in check, their expectations are met. You know? Good, good point of view. That's why I respect original artists because they pen and create their own songs, and that they do it the the good old fashioned way, you know. Well, I mean, it's not one way is not necessarily better than the other. And in fact, I, I'm very close with a couple of people who either were in the band of some American Idol folks or write songs for them. And it's a machine, you know, and, and, it, and it keeps people employed. And, and gosh, you know, if you're that person with that voice that can do that thing, it's a, it's a great, it's a great vehicle. And, and for being honest, you know, there's no better chance of, you know, being, sustainable and by successful i always mean sustainable like can you pay your electric bill with music and 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 that's it there's no better chance of doing it through you know a reality show than it is some other way they're all terrible chances you just have to do it because you 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 love it and and you want to be authentic and a good 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 uh, good good choice of words there wise words there and um, thanks for answering that and just one final thing i wanted to say perseverance as well um that goes a long way surely i mean yeah I, if i quit every time uh you know a song was not successful or someone tells me i don't like what you're doing it, you know if i would would not persevere we wouldn't be having this conversation and I, I would be a plumber maybe you know 30 years ago you know and and you know if having the stomach to take a lot of criticism and and you know being able to deal with not success is kind of the definition of perseverance and and if if you have that as well you're you're going to be okay Brilliant. Well, I hope uh, some of my listeners can take from what you said, you know, and, and you know, use it, you know. Uh, and it's been a delight having you on my show. And more importantly, I'm going to get one of your tracks played on my show now. So reality TV aside, we're here to get your song on the radio. So would you like to introduce it on This Is A Dannison Radio Show? Uh, sure. Uh, uh, listen, 
I'm John Fischel. You're listening to the Dan Sun Radio Show, and here is Daisy Chains. Thank you very much for joining me on today's show. You are welcome. Thank you so much, Dan. It's shows like yours that that gives us little guys a chance. 